just a few days to go until Tennessee will host Alabama, Neyland Stadium. All eyes on Knoxville. Someone who's coming to Knoxville, VFL, big play Ron Slay. He joins us now in the Stanley Fencing and Gates Hotline. Ron, are you ready for Saturday? Rhetorical question. Hey, first of all, Ward Swain, how y'all doing? Listen, this is what I'm telling y'all. I had to look at my watch, go and check the date, and I saw it was Tuesday, but basketball season hadn't started. So I said, hey, they want the sleigh ride early? Sleigh ride's taking off. Now let me, <laughs> let me go in the garage, man, and hook this thing up, man, and get the jumper cables on it, and let's roll, baby. Yeah, I'm ready. Come on, Josh. You know I'm ready, baby. How how was the environment down in Baton Rouge this weekend? I know you was looking for Mike the Tiger because he owed you a tooth. Uh, how yep. was that yep. whole experience down there with Vol Nation and painting that stadium orange and then Tennessee going out there and playing the way that they did? Swain, first of all, man, that's my first SEC road game. And that's all I've heard about was the environment and the atmosphere. Man, they did not disappoint. It was amazing. I mean, from the time that I got to the airport here in Nashville to the time I landed in Dallas to the time I landed in Baton Rouge, it was phenomenal. This right here, two things to let you know how my weekend went. Saturday, I get up. First of all, I get in at midnight. I don't fall asleep at 3. We got to do a broadcast at 7.15. So I get up at 6.20, three hours of sleep. On the way to the elevator, it's an LSU fan, and he got his son with him. His son can't be no more than four years old. So his hat up, he's putting, his, he's putting it backwards, and he's straightening his hat up. Now, when he's straightening it up, I said, oh, hey, how you doing, little man? You a little tiger, ain't you? He said, yes, sir. I looked at his dad and said, hey, man, where you guys from? He said, man, we're about an hour away, hour north. You know, I came on down for the game. I said, yeah. He was like, where you from? I said, from Nashville, man. He said, oh, man, good luck. I looked at him and told him, you ain't going to need it. We ain't going to need it at all. So right here for your son, I'm going to tell you right now, you picked the wrong school, buddy. I'm starting to trash talking right there at the elevator at 630 in the morning is all I'm saying. I'm ready to roll, Swain. Man, I get down there, man. The, you, you smell food cooking from the tailgates immediately oh man phenomenal but this is the second thing the people were already defeated i'm gonna be honest they're fans all i heard the entire time for 24 hours was man y'all gonna win this one boy i wish it was a night game boy i wish it was a night game i told them listen we in knoxville we ain't got clocks all we know is game time. That's the only time we worried about. You can ship us out at 2 in the morning. You can ship us out at 2 in the afternoon or 10 at night. Whatever it is, Swain, we coming with it. Outside of that, man, great environment, man. The people were lovely, welcoming, southern hospitality at its finest. It was all love. We had to dust it, out, dust it off, as he said there, the sleigh ride. We, uh, we have a football sleigh ride. Ron Slay, he'll be in Knoxville this weekend for the Alabama game. So uh, this is a different conversation. Ron, what do you think this week? Alabama, you know about the streak. You know about the history there. Yeah. What do you think this weekend, Tennessee hosting all eyes on Knoxville, Nick Saban and the Alabama Crimson Tide? Man, I, I believe, man, you got to win all three phase, three phases of the game, man. I'm a trench lover, man. I love the trenches. So I think that's where the battle is going to be won, man. One thing that Hendon always has is he, when he hikes the ball, he snaps the ball, he has the opportunity to keep his eyes downfield the entire time, not worry about protection. Outside of the safety <laughs> coming and my man just, I don't know what just happened on that pass, pro, but didn't pick him up, got Hendon nailed. Outside of that, he's been, been pretty much calm and able to, you know, take the offense as he will. So that a lot of that um, goes to the offensive line, man. And one thing about it, Alabama, we know they got Will Anderson. Now, I'm not making a comparison, but if Ojolari and Will Anderson both got on the elevator, Ojolari, he's getting off the elevator first. But it's only about one or two floors before Will Anderson that he's going to get off. And they both go in first round. So, they did a really good job with him. 
offensive line did, containing, protecting, not letting them get to Hendon. If they can do their will and they can make the chess match between Toto and Hendon Hooker, I'm going to take Hendon Hooker all day. I understand what Bryce Jones brings to the game. I feel like defensive line, when you're still t- looking at the trenches, they got to be able to do the exact same thing, put pressure on contain them. Um, it's going to be a choice. If Bryce Young plays, it's gonna, which I believe he would, why wouldn't he? <laughs> whatever it is, he's got to get out there on crutches. He's playing. I'm not missing it. So whatever it is, you just got to make sure you keep that man in front. Contain him. You know he, can got a, you know he got an arm, but if you can keep his timing off, you don't have to win every matchup, but you got to win the ones that count. And I think they take care of business. Ron Slay, VFL host there, three-hour lunch. 104.5, The Zone in Nashville. Nashville, there's a melting pot of different fans, of different schools, mm-hmm. uh, a lot of Tennessee, but you have you know, people moving in from all over uh, the, 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 the world, and they're fans mm-hmm. of other teams. What are, what are some of the Bama fans, if you've heard from any, what are they feeling this week uh, as Tennessee is, is set to host Alabama this weekend? Man, you know what, Swain? I think they're a little hesitant. They're a little hesitant to speak out. You know, usually they got their shirts off, showing their tattoos, walking around the street. Got the A, the A, they got the the barber freshly cutting the Alabama logo in their head, you know, walking around with no hats on. This this time, I don't know if it's because the weather changing, but they out here covered up. You can't really spot them like you used to. Like, I don't don't know if they're waiting to see just exactly what happens or is it the threat of Tennessee. But whatever it is, the line is loud so far. And I'm loving it. And then, like you said, Nashville is a melting pot. So you got a lot of other fan bases. And the consensus, so far, it's early in the week. But everybody pulling for us to beat them. You know, you got a lot of Auburn fans here. Got a couple of Ole Miss sprinkled, a couple of Georgia sprinkled. You know, Kentucky, they don't really like to come down here too much. So we leave them be. You know, they got other things to worry about. But outside of that, I mean, you got everybody pulling like, y'all need to go get them. Take care of them. So, as toxic as we are, as I like to say we are as a fan base, I think everybody pulling in the same direction on this one, man. So that's good to see. And I, I <laughs> you know what it is down here with Tennessee. I mean, woof, we loud and proud down there. So everybody ought to be making this trek up there, man. It's, it's everybody pulling in the same direction, Tennessee to beat Alabama, from my take so far. Hearing you explain, I feel like, Tennessee is America's team. Kind of like Dallas Cowboys, man. <laughs> Tennessee is America's team, Slay. Hey, Slay, they're making it look like that right now, but it's always like that. That's why you always know the magnitude of the opponent that you're going against. You know, if everybody want to get on the same board and they, they want to put their colors down for a minute and say, hey, we all going to match. It ain't going to just be 300 going up against the big army. We're going to get everybody involved in this. We all want to see them go down. And that's exactly what you got, man. And so I don't know if it's a math team for long. This may be a four hour <laughs> this may be a four hour uh, peace treaty. But after that, I'm sure everybody will go back to like <laughs> the same way they wanna be. But right now, man, it's all evolved. Ron Slay, do you, sir, have your cigar ready? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, I do. Yes, sir, I do. I'm talking about I got two of them ready, Swain. I think it's going to be that good of a time. Two of them ready. And then Ramon, he went up there to Pigeon Forge this weekend and got two really nice premium cigars. So, man, we going to – I'm ready. I got them ready to light. I got one match, and I ain't going to mess it up. I'm going to spark that thing like – like your Sam and Sam do on the cartoons, the bottom of his boot, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get it smoking, baby. And if I need to pass it along to somebody to light their own cigar, I got them. We ain't talking about no cigarettes, no black and miles. We ain't talking about nothing else like that. We talking about real good cigars. I mean, we supposed to feel the smoke up in Needland. It's going down, man. They want it, so I got it. Ron Slay, he's coming to town, 3HL, VFL. And uh, you mentioned a moment ago, being loud, being proud. You were actually a part of the message for the Florida game, right, to get fans loud and proud at Neyland Stadium. It was you and Sterl on the, the back and forth on the Jumbotrons. Give us the, the backstory there on Tennessee getting you to do that. And do you have a message for Tennessee fans heading to, into this one, Alabama, this week? 
Yeah, man, they they reached out to me, asked me did I want to do it. I told them I don't know what y'all asking for. Y'all should have just told me when to be there. So I got up there, man, and did, I didn't know I was working with Sterl. When I walked in and Sterl walked in, oh, they threw the script out the window. <laughs> they just told me and Sterl, go to freelancing, and that's exactly what we did, man. But as far as the message, all I'm saying is we're going game by game, stay in the moment, and at the end of this thing, I just want everybody to know having a grand opening of a museum, a museum of artifacts, Swain you. And Ward, Josh, y'all have y'all have tickets. I'm gonna have Mike Keith. He's gonna MC the event, but I'm taking a collection. I already got me a Panther coat. You know, it fits really really good. I got me some Gator boots and a Gator belt that'll be on display. I also got me a a Bengal tiger. I got Bengal tiger tooth that I gotta take to the dentist so they can cut his gum off. And I'm gonna bring the tooth and put that on display. I got an elephant trunk. I'm out the next. So I'm going to put the trunk. If you ain't never seen an elephant leaving out the zoo without a, without a trunk, you're about to see one come Saturday. So y'all keep your eyes open. Don't nobody be alarmed. Take your cigar, burn him on the nose so he don't bleed to death so he can make it on back to Tuscaloosa, and we're going to take care of the rest. Y'all be before the museum opening up. Soon as the season's over, baby, coming soon. Slays all the fracks. Don't worry about it. Just be there. I'm there. Everybody's going to be like, there. I'm there. Everybody's going to be there. Ron, uh, we'll look for you. We'll hear you on Saturday. I know it's safe travels to Knoxville. It's going to be a time, and uh, we really appreciate you taking time. I knew you'd get the fans ready today. No doubt, man. Hey, man, we'll be up at the Student Union Center, man, from 12 to one thirty, man. They want to swing by and holler at us. We'll be broadcasting me, Ramon, uh, Kayla Anderson, and Will Bowling. So, y'all swing by, man, and holler at us, man. We'll be up there good and hype. If they give me the mic again, I'm going to set it off again. Love it. Absolutely. We'll be looking for you. You'll be over there maybe sometime, Swain, as well. So, oh, yeah. yeah I'm Swain sure you'll run into come through. Yeah. Swain got to come through. Yeah. 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 I'll be at the UT uh, Alumni Tailgate right there, Student yeah. Union. So, uh, 24th, yes, 21st Mortgage uh, Plaza. So, I'll be there uh, probably the same time you're going to be there, my man. So, I look forward it's to only, seeing you. It's only right, Swain. See, I don't need no addresses. I just got somebody drop me in off a helicopter. I'm going <laughs> to parachute in. Don't nobody trip. It's just me. Don't nobody right. be alone. All right, unlock the door this weekend. Unlock the door because everybody needs room. So uh, it, it's going to be fun. <laughs> right. Ron, Ron, we'll see you this weekend. Thanks so much for taking time to join us today. All right, fellas. Go ball! Go ball.